Yeah, we're alive. Uh, get, All right. Get down. Get down. Down. No, you get down. No, I'm already up. <laughs> you gotta get down. We gotta come up from the elevator. Come on up. Time. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Welcome hey. to the weekly thruster. That was an awkward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I promise we'll get better. I promise we'll get we'll get better. I will. So, hello, world of the internet. Uh, we come to you today with a very exciting topic. Um, everybody. Everybody asks us about stuff they can buy, and CrossFitters like to buy stuff. Yeah, not me, but you. You buy a lot of stuff, but we and have issues. We yeah. do. So, the one of the most important things that we recommend that you guys buy is a great pair of shoes. So today we're going to talk about shoes and why they're super important and why we think that you should buy them pretty much immediately. So, what's a good CrossFit shoe do for you guys? Yeah, go for it. You have the most amount of shoes out of all of us. Yeah, I have way too many. Mm-hmm. What I look for in a shoe is um, just I want a flat shoe. If you buy a shoe from, oh, there we go. There's a shoe right there. And then Hey, look, we got all three shoes shoes right here. That's a cool um, thumbnail right there. Shoes. Noble, Nike, and Reebok. What separates these shoes from basically any trainer shoe? It's not... I feel stinky there. (laughs) (laughs) It smells really bad now. It smells (laughs) terrible (laughs) right now. (laughs) Put them back on. Put them back on. (laughs) We'll go one at a time. It smells too much. Um, They're not squishy. Okay, so when we squat, our feet are really stable with our shoes that we wear. So that's the main thing, the flat shoe. That's what I want in a shoe. That's my main point. We want it to be really stable. Yeah. We see a lot of people come in, and obviously you're going to come in and like, I'm going to wear my running shoes to the gym. And while that may sound like a good idea, running shoes are horrible for squatting. They're squishy. They have a lifted heel, and they're just they're squishy, and it's just you're unstable. <clears throat> And um, that could be unsafe at the same time. Yeah. Another thing too is on the CrossFit shoes, they have a wider base on the foot. So it allows you to spread your toes a little wider and spread your foot. So they're not just like all like cramped up here when you're squatting because you want mm-hmm. to be able to keep your foot flat here. Yeah. You want to spread the floor underneath you. That definitely helps out. So you can get these shoes online. Um, you can buy them from Reebok, Nike directly, Noble directly. Uh, Rogue Fitness, I think, stocks all of them. Uh, they have really fast shipping times. You can also try them on at Dick's Sporting Goods. I know you can try the Reeboks on and you can try the Nikes on at Dick's. Uh, but you're probably not going to get a great price there. But um, you can try them on, see how they feel. Um, so let's show them a couple of different, different brands, right? Yeah. We have... The Noble. Uh, noble. Uh, right? Show us a Noble. These are great for the women. The <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is a Noble. These are the Noble trainers. This is the 2.0. Um, I had my 1.0s and these things last forever. I had mine, my 1.0s for four years until a small tear was right there where the seams are. So they last forever. One thing I do like about these is the material on them. So when you're doing double unders, you're not going to be whacking your toe here. Um, They're pretty thick. Um, This on the inside, the 2.0s have a little arch on them. It's not too bad. It's still pretty flat inside. And I'm not sure what the, what's this called? The heel drop? The heel drop, yeah. So I'm not sure what the shirt. It it is pretty flat. So... um, yeah, I'd highly recommend these. They're super grippy. You have these too, right? Um, you have Nobles. What do you like yeah. about them? I didn't really... I wasn't really sold on the Nobles. I don't know. Um, It's just... It wasn't me. I don't really know what was like... I think the main reason was because... Well, I slipped my foot in from like, like this with this... um back thing down and it totally just ruined this whole like back like I don't know what's inside of here but it totally just destroyed it and then when I'm running it just goes right into the heel it just didn't feel right to me so I kind of 
broke the shoe early, so <laughs> not bad. Great for lifting. I use these yeah. for everything. Other than that, pretty shoe. good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next. What we got next is the Nikes. Nike Nikes. Oh, yeah. I'll pull up mine. Then. Yeah, pull up. Yeah. So, oh, got a couple of them. We have a couple. Yeah. These are the 1.0s. They call them 1.0s. Uh, just one. One. Yeah. Nike, the Metcon. Metcon Nike Metcon 1s. Nike Metcon. Metcon 1s. So, uh, wasn't a huge fan of these. Yeah. They got um, better, though. So, yeah. uh, these are the 1.0s. They have, they're up to three or four. Five. 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 I'm behind. And they guys. nailed this one, finally. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did not like about the 1s was actually the insole is, like, ginormous. Yeah. That's and like it either. was just so squishy. What they changed from this to this, the insole is now way smaller and it's just way more flat. Yeah? Stable. And the one thing that I do like about these is if I turn them around from here, you guys can't really see that, right? But this, um, oh, pull it closer. So these two points right here, okay? Usually when I squat with other shoes, my heels kind of come up a little bit more. But these ones are way better for squatting. Okay, I don't need to um, wear lifters or put lifters inside here, but these two right here, more wider surface base. area for wider base, and it's just way better for squatting, squat cleans, squat snatches. And I, I got, actually keep the heels on the floor. Yeah, I got a chance to actually try his out, and they are so much better than the first one. I didn't like them, yeah. so I just never bought Nikes after that, but after trying his, I'd probably <laughs> give Nike a try again. Yeah. And... Um, with these shoes, they came back with the uh, plastic heel right here. For the handstand push-ups. For the strict handstand push or the handstand push-ups. And you just slide. It's Handstand push-ups are way easier with these shoes on. Do you think I could do a handstand push-up if I wore Nikes? Yeah, try them on right now. We can do it right now. Want to do it on Facebook Live? No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. I think you just lied to everybody. But, uh, all right. Now, the original, the granddaddy, maybe not the original, but... Uh, the granddaddy of them all. We have. Okay, we got. These are my shoes. Bring, bring them all out. No, that, no, those aren't nanos. Okay. So I may have a problem. We got nano two, nano three, four, five. The nano six used to be my all-time favorite. Um, and then the sevens suck. Don't buy the sevens. We don't have an eight. The eights are really, really good. Um, and then this, they nailed it with the nine. The so grandpa shoe. If you are going to get a nine, a nano, I highly recommend this one. Don't get this color scheme is sold out. You can't get this one. Um, it's sold out. Can't get it. Um, but so what I love about the nano is it is comfortable all day long. You can wear these anywhere. Um, it has this part here, really good for the rope climbs. And uh, as you can see, wide toe box, and it is super flat and stable. Um, and the Nano 9 is pretty good for running uh, short distances. I wouldn't do a 5K in it, uh, but a 400 meter, 800 meter, one mile, not bad at all. So if you want to go into running a little bit more, this is the Reebok Rich right, Froning, which is a Speed TR, I believe. Um, this one is designed more for running, um, but still it's flat and stable, um, good for more kind of long distance days. Um, yeah. So, and then we got one more, which is kind of a specialty shoe. Grab that one. This one is the, um, the lifting shoe. So, Kiana, tell everybody why this shoe is is special. Well, only for lifting. Do not run in these. Okay. So, this heel right here does not move at all. Okay. So, if I try to bend it, I can bend like this part right here. You try to bend this heel, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Big, put it on the, uh, oh, you can't put it. But, um, yeah, when you guys squat, your heels aren't going to come anywhere. Okay, so it's good for squatting, good for lifting, hence the lifting shoe. Okay, so um, I don't really wear these that much. 
only because I feel like if I keep on lifting with these, I'm only going to get good with lifting with these. So um, I tend to not like wear these all the time. Yeah. So, and if there comes a workout where you have to back squat and you have to run, you're going to have to use regular shoes. You can't use these because you can't run in them. Okay. And they've done a pretty good job with the, with all the brands with being more of a hybrid shoe. So being able to lift with them, run with them, they're all pretty well-rounded, I would say. Yeah. Um, I should point out the straps. If you're gonna buy lifting shoes, make sure the straps are in the correct position because some lifting shoes are centered like more to the middle and you don't, don't want it towards the middle. You want it towards the thickest part of your foot, which is the ball of your feet right there. And then just below or over the laces here. Okay, so make sure these are positioned correctly so they're effective. So I'm just in the right space. Okay, so make sure, like they, they did a pretty good job here with Reebok on where to position it. Um, but there are some out there, the lifting shoe is like, or the strap is like right in the center and you don't mm -hmm. want that because it's not effective. Okay, so fall the foot and then towards the top. Okay, okay. where the, where you tie it up. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. Go uh, immediately. If you do not have good CrossFit shoes, stop wearing your running shoes in here. Go get some Nanos or some Nikes. The champ shoe. But definitely a Red Bull. Or Red well, Bull. No the Bulls. GOAT shoe, <laughs> the GOAT wears a Reebok. The, the champ wears Nikes. Yeah. The, well, the champ. And yeah. Or Nobles. Whatever. Yeah. The champ yeah. wears nobles. Yeah, so does Brooke Wells. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, two meters. Right. Yeah. Let's do our <laughs> awkward ending. Bye. <laughs> Escalator that way? I don't know. Oh, that's uh, not how we end this it? This way? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Goodbye. Hit the button. When you button. Hit what button? Hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. The button. The button. The button. Push the goddamn button. <laughs> I was gonna it's say still that. on. Just push the goddamn button.